My name is Tim Reddy and I'm the director of the Lewis Walker Institute for the Study of Race and Ethnic Relations at Western Michigan University and uh, I'm in the sociology department there. To me, and I've, I've been, I think, doing it uh, throughout my career, uh, it means applying what you learn in the discipline to address public policy and practice to uh, see what we can do to make this a, a better place for, uh, particularly for uh, people from uh, disadvantaged backgrounds. How can we make it a more equitable uh, society? Um, you know, as an example, uh, right now I'm working uh, with uh, the mayor and vice mayor of our uh, community of Kalamazoo, and we developed a, an, an initiative called Shared Prosperity Kalamazoo. And uh, uh, our city, I guess you could see, is a kind of a Midwestern post-industrial city. Uh, it has a very high poverty rate. Uh, it also has a very high concentration of uh, extremely wealthy people, some of whom are involved in philanthropy. So we've got lots of resources juxtaposed with uh, uh, tremendous need. Uh, so, you know, we're working uh, to see how can we make those resources work best uh, to address the needs of people who have, uh, are not fully uh, benefiting from or contributing to everything that the, this community has to offer. Probably the highlight of my work was uh, some years ago when I was, uh, uh, during the decade of the 1990s, uh, 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 I guess uh, ten and a half years, I worked for the Association of American Medical Colleges and I had the opportunity to uh, uh, design and then direct uh, the national diversity campaign for the, uh, all the medical schools in the country and we focused on building an educational pipeline and continuum and uh, that you know, focused on what would it take to dramatically increase the number of uh, students who are both interested in, in and uh, prepared to pursue careers in, in medicine uh, uh, from racial and ethnic minority groups. And so we, it took a lot of uh, uh, quantitative analysis of you know, where uh, understanding challenges in the, in the educational continuum, uh, the pipeline, it's, if you will, uh, and so we built community partnerships to try to address this. Uh, uh, so uh, with funding from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and from the Kellogg Foundation, uh, we built about uh, 25 partnerships around the country to, uh, um, to build a continuum leading to medical school, but of course many other uh, kind of science intensive uh, careers that would be at the baccalaureate or post baccalaureate level. So that was probably the thing that I, was the highest profile thing I've done. Well, I mean, I, I think that we have a lot to offer and, and, and uh, you know, I, I think that trying to understand uh, the lessons and, uh, uh, you know, from the various huh, the various uh, specialties within sociology. So. This is my first uh, ASA meeting, and I'm as uh, I'm a former. Formerly, I'm an anthropologist, shall we say? I was trained as an anthropologist, and I've converted. Uh, so, uh, but listening to a, a wide variety of topics on on inequality, on on uh, on uh, you know urban sociology, on uh, family issues, uh, uh, etc. You know, there's there's so much uh, that we talk about in this discipline that is is very relevant to policy and uh, I, I think we can we can do a lot to inform policy both at the at the community change level where I'm currently working previously at the national level uh, and to have well-informed policies and practices that are going to get better outcomes and I think we do have a lot to offer get a good grounding uh, in the discipline and uh, also be involved in uh, uh, pick, pick a topic, pick a topic that interests you. Uh, and uh, initially for me it was uh, diversity in, in, health, uh, in health and health care. Uh, and 
get a grounding in that, start working in that uh, in a practical way to the extent that you can, start anywhere. Uh, and uh, once you start working in one field, you, you can stay in that field or you can branch out into another, but you've got to get your toe in the water.